When it first happened, I was so horrified that I didn't even want to be a tsunami scientist anymore. Coming again! Big one. Back up! It took me a couple of months to even begin to remove myself from the horror of the Sumatra event and to begin to understand we would learn from that event. And that would help us avoid such death and destruction from future events. The most common and best known cause for big tsunamis are cases where the sudden movement of the seafloor is generated during an earthquake. The biggest earthquakes on the planet happen along subduction zones where the ocean floor is going down beneath the continent. When there is a sudden motion of the fault, it pushes the water and that's what generates the tsunami waves. Not all earthquakes create tsunamis in the same way. Uh, there is a certain element of guessing involved uh, to, to, to make a judgment whether or not uh, this earthquake will have generated uh, a disastrous tsunami. There is a lot of research going on. For example, scientists known as modelers develop uh, scenarios by running simulations of what this tsunami would be given a particular seismological scenario. What you have to do for the model, you have to, of course, you have to assume some sort of the source of the earthquake source. That's the initial condition for the model. And the source that you see here is the source of this Sumatra event, which is about 1,000 kilometers long here. So if you will, it's the very first moment of the tsunami. The red colors indicate the positive wave, the waves above uh, normal sea level. And the dark blue uh, are the troughs, the waves below normal sea level. Apparently, this simple model uh, compared very well with all the data that we have about this tsunami. Our goal is to have the model of this type ready right when the earthquake happens. So tsunami warning centers can look at the model and have the ability to say when and how high the wave are going to uh, be at the particular coastline. We definitely don't want the Sumatra case to repeat itself. I'm hoping that we can get our system for the real-time warning done so the next big tsunami that's going to happen will not catch us in a surprise like Sumatra event did. <laughs>